Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Daniel here with my Ender 3 3D printer. Now some of you know that I bought that printer to print accessories for Cosmo the Robot, for Vector also, and also for my drones. When I have some free time between reviews, I like to search for cool things to print. And I found recently something very interesting I thought I would show you. Look at this here. It is a marble machine. But, just a second, not any marble machines. Look at this. You put marbles as you do with any machine. And I'll put, uh, let's say I'll put here five. So normally, you would stitch the marble, put it back on top. But this one, look at this. How cool is that? Like, really? This is, Im this is impressive. This is fun. This was designed by Tulio Lannan. I'm not sure I pronounced his last name correctly, but I'll put the, um, the link to the files on Thingiverse.com in my video description. They're free. So this is the size that you print. And again, guys, if you don't have a 3D printer, I mean, don't panic. You can still download the files and send them to an outside printing service. So all you get here, you get this rotating knob. I'll try to put that here so you can see it. You get the locking knob. And the magic is here with this uh, spiral. So this will bring the marbles back on top. So this is the stock model at a resolution of 0.15 millimeter and a speed of 50 millimeters per second. It took me, it took the printer uh, 36 hours to print this thing. 36 hours. The stock speed is 60, but I reduce it to 50 to have a better quality uh, print. Now, um, these, uh, this model will work for 3 8 of an inch balls or uh, this is about 9.5 millimeters. Uh, it would work also with 9 or 10 but nominal is 9.5 or 3 8 of an inch. So I wanted to do something a bit bigger and uh, look at this. Look at this big machine here. <laughs> this is huge. Um, this is exactly 33% bigger than this one. Why 33? Because I wanted to use half inch balls and the ratio between half inch or 13 millimeters and 3 8 of an inch is 33. So this is 33 percent bigger than this one. Now this here, uh, because it is so big, I use a resolution of uh, 0.2 millimeter for printing, same speed of 50. This took 50 hours to print. Yes, 50 hours. So uh, Tulio did an amazing design here. This is a very, very cool thing uh, to print. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to post a time lapse of this print um, with an outside camera. So you will see the, the things, uh, the printer move. And I'm going to uh, work on a special bracket that I will put put on the uh, on the heating bed here, so to avoid seeing all the things move, just to see the build. So, I'll put the files on Thingiverse.com, and I'll do a video about that. This time lapse here, because it was so long, it was 50 hours. I took a manual picture every hour at the exact same position of the bed to minimize the movement of everything here, and uh, of course uh, every hour except in the middle of the night. Uh, I'm not a robot. I need to sleep a little bit. So thank you again uh, to Tulio for designing this, uh, this thing. Uh, I know this is version 3 from what I saw on Thingiverse.com. So my advice to Tulio, I know one day you'll probably watch this video. If you do a version 4, uh, if you could make it a bit bigger and also have the slopes uh, a bit less steep so that the balls go uh, down uh, a bit slower. So that would be uh, even more fun. I should mention also that to print this piece here, you will need to do a brim, okay? So you'll need a brim here at the bottom to hold this vertical in the printer. Now, because the spiral of this one here is so big, as you can see, it is huge compared to the stock one, this one here. So this one, the brim will not be sufficient to hold, it, uh, hold this part on the bed. You'll need a raft to hold it uh, very, very firmly on the bed. Otherwise, you're going to have a misprint like I had here. You can see here, I had the brim and that was not sufficient. So towards the end, I was still missing like two centimeters of print. 
towards the end this went sideways so I had to stop the print so I thought I would mention that to you so that you get a successful print so thank you guys for watching let's have a look at the time-lapse videos and as usual or as always if you have any questions put them down below in the comments I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can have a great day goodbye guys